What comes to your mind when you hear the word power? Is it corruption, supremacy, or a dictatorship? How about a bad boss at work? Why do we commonly associate power with a negative connotation? In fact, everyone has power. We simply need help understanding the extent of its influence to use it more effectively to our advantage in a daily setting. As we know, the relationship between power and leadership is indisputably strong. Yet it is how we express and perceive power that will either restrict or encourage productivity. In 1959, social psychologists John French and Bertram Reaven observed and studied the phenomenon of power dynamics. Even though it is research from half a century ago, it still allows us to understand how our leaders influence us, why we accept their power, and how you can utilize different forms of power to produce the best from your people. As you will see, the five forms of power can heavily impact a person's leadership qualities and success in the workforce. Hey, Marissa, do you think you could take out the trash for me, please? Why? Because uh, I'm your boss and I asked you to? I mean, I guess. Thank you. Here we see Haley having legitimate power over Marissa because of the formal right to make commands as Marissa is working as an employee under Haley. Typically, employees obey the people with power, which is based primarily on their position in the organization. The higher up in the organizational hierarchy you go, the more power you hold. One of the distinguishing factors of legitimate power that is, is that it is built on the perception that another person has the authority over them. So thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I really enjoy working here. I can't wait to work even more. Thank you. Reward power is based on the idea that as a society, we are more inclined to do things well when we are getting something in return for it, since we live in an individualistic culture. Popular forms of reward include praise, promotions, or compliments. One inherent flaw in this type of power is that when a reward does not have enough perceived value or the value is not greater than the last, it has the opposite effect and employees will actually lose their effectiveness and drive to work. I think you should merge these two cells over here and perform a VLOOKUP over there, and I think it would make it much more efficient. Okay, I'm not super confident on that, but I know you're an expert, so could, do you mind like helping me with that? Absolutely. In this scenario, Marissa is listening to Haley because of her expertise with a particular skill. As it sounds, expert power is established from in-depth knowledge, experience, skills, or expertise regarding a subject. If someone has a particular expertise within an organization, they can often persuade employees who respect and trust them to do things for them. Generally, when an individuals perceive or assume that a person holds superior abilities, they award power to that person. Marissa, I think you should drink this apple juice. It helps with productivity. No way. I guess I will. Thank you, Super Haley. You're my role model. You're welcome. In this scene, Marissa's admiration of Super Haley leads her to trust and believe her recommendation. Referent power is established from the affiliations we make and the groups and organizations we belong to in society. It is usually established because of one's influence, loyalty, respect, or admiration that someone else holds over the person exercising the power. Hey, why are you watching Netflix? What? Why are you watching Netflix? Um, I'm just taking a break. Oh, yeah, a break. Okay. I'm doing work, don't worry. Okay, well, as your manager, I'm just gonna let you know that if you stay off task again, you're probably gonna lose the job. Yeah, I'll get on it. Okay, don't cool. worry. Here, Haley is threatening to fire her employee because she is off task in the workplace. This form of power is based upon the idea of coercion, using your position of power to essentially force someone to do something you want them to do. In order for this type of power to be effective, the person of power must receive compliance in return. Modern examples of coercive power can be in the form of withholding rewards or threatening social exclusion. <laughs> 